We're off on the horses, ready for our three day trek. A little bit nervous, but uh, looks like we'll be bringing up the rear. <laughs> <laughs> What a place for lunch. How are you enjoying this? I love it. It's beautiful scenery, great horses. It's a lot of fun. It is said that horses are the wings of the Kurzik, a nomadic people who have relied on the horse for two and a half thousand years to carry yurts and people over mountains. When visiting this small yet proud Central Asian country, you must take a horse trek into the stunning Jurgalan Valley. Well, we have arrived at our camp for the night in this beautiful valley surrounded by horses. What a great place to spend an evening here in Kyrgyzstan. And here's camp for the night, and hey, we have a special guest. It's my favorite time of the day here while trekking. It's tea time, right guys? Dinner time. We're at the top of the world here in Kyrgyzstan. Let me tell you, you don't realize how sore you are until you get back on the horse from the day before. But for Westerners like me, I gotta do my horse stretches in the morning. I'm ready. A multi-day horse trek in Jurgalan is not easy. The mountains are steep, it's a very rocky trail, and the high altitude trek is hard on both the horse and the rider. See how deep the mud is? No. Oh. Go to the right. Rough for the horses, we had to walk, now they're ready to go. I heard just herding some cattle. Riding our horses, and then some cattle drive came through. They're moving from the mountain down to warmer land. So we're on our way back from our Bozachuk Lake hike. This is the Bozachuk Lake trek that we did on horseback. And when we got here, I guess it was around five o'clock, five or six o'clock, our guides told us that the horses can't go to Bozachuk Lake. But the problem is we have six hours on a horse tomorrow and then, that, then we would also have a six hour round trip of hiking. So we're not gonna be able to do it. So sadly, we're gonna miss Bozachuk Lake. It's difficult for the horses to get here because one, they can't do too long of days. They can't start later, early in the morning because of the wet, wet grass. So we have to start at 10 every day. And then they're quite slow going up and down the passes because it's extremely steep. So you can hike it faster and that's the way to see these lakes. But wow, it is one beautiful trek anyway.
Well, the welcome wagon is coming to say goodbye. 